Rosette spoonbills used to be very common in the southeast, all the way up to the Carolinas. But unfortunately, in the 1860s, they were hunted for their feathers, for hats, believe it or not. So their population was almost wiped out, but they've started to make a comeback. My name is Andy Dehart. I'm the Vice President of Animal Husbandry and Marine Conservation here at the Philip and Patricia Frost Museum of Science. We have some great new animal ambassadors here at Frost Science in our aviary exhibit. We have Rosiette Spoonbills. We have a pair of them. They're male and female, part of a species survival program through AZA. These animals were born at SeaWorld Orlando, but luckily they're going to spend the rest of their lives here with us. One of the things that's very unique about these birds is what you see right away is their color. They're a pink color, much like a flamingo. They get that coloration from the animals that they eat, a lot of shrimp. These shrimp have a red uh, chemical compound inside of them, and as these birds feed on that shrimp, it gives them that pink color. They also get their name, spoonbill, because the end of their bill looks like a spoon. They actually use that to go through the water almost like panning for gold. They're sifting and feeling with that bill. They eat small shrimp, small fish, as well as aquatic vegetation. They're a species of concern here in Florida, so they are protected um, because of the habitat they live in. So as we do urban development, we take away wetlands, we develop into the Everglades. As the Everglades gets polluted, these are all things that could potentially you know, affect these really important birds and these very charismatic state birds. These animals used to have a much larger range that's been reduced due to hunting, but also due to habitat loss. The other thing that can affect these birds is invasive species like the Burmese python. We hope that when people come to the museum, they get to see these birds up close and personal, that they'll leave with that experience caring deeply for these animals and also their habitat.